already. Um, so I'm Sheila's older sister, and I'm the pretty one. Just kidding. <laughs> so Sheila and I are the oldest grandchildren um, in the family, in both sides of my parents. So everybody um, in the family wanted to name us sweet-sounding names. So to the people in our family, my name is Hanbi, and Sheila's name is Sweetie Pie. So that's that's. So if you hear somebody from her family calling her sweet or sweetie pie, then that's, that's her name, that's her nickname. Um, so I have several stories about Sheila when she was younger. Um, one of them being when she was in first grade, um, she, she, <laughs> she came home with a lot of coins in her pocket and, and she had a bag of peanuts that my mom sent home with her as her bottle and her snack for recess. And she said, she sold, she sold each peanut for 10 cents. <laughs> so she came home with a lot of 10 cents in her pocket. So back then, she, yeah, she was in first grade, so she was, yeah, she was already a prompting businesswoman back then. Sheila also liked to climb trees when we were younger, so we used to race and see who would get to the top of the tree first. And I always won, of course. <laughs> And then both Sheila was, uh, had good grades in school. She was a, a consistent honor student and she was doing that. And so, again, so I can really say that she is confidently beautiful with the heart. That's my sister, Sheila. Very nice. Thank you so much. Barbara Girl from her wedding. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a teacher speaks niece. Uh, even though I do live on the other side of the United States, I'm very grateful for my aunt Tita Sweet and how, how kind she is and how blessed I am to have her in my life. Just some small tokens she does for me. She always has the most fashionable clothes for me. Um, she always looks out for me and looks for, in my best interest at heart. Um, one example she also did this past May, I graduated from college and she flew all the way to rural South Carolina to come watch me graduate and walk across the stage and I'm very blessed to have her in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. Let me call on Fritzi Alaris. Hi, my name is Fritzi and I'm sorry about my voice. I've known Sheila from grade school. Yes, her sister is right. Academically, she excels. But don't let her soft tone of voice deceive you because she has the markings of a leader. So if there's a project to be done and nobody does it, guess what? She does it. With that said, at an early age in life, she clearly displayed a nurturing and caring trait. So professionally, as a nurse, that makes sense. It's a plus to be a wife to Mike and a mother to Crystal and JJ. She sees the good in every situation. No matter how daunting and difficult the situation is, she, she believes on the good side of it. And I think that's a trait that I really admire about her. Personally speaking, I don't know if anybody could relate to me. I don't see you all the time. I don't see, I don't talk to you all the time. But every time she does, she always says the right thing. So I thank you for your beautiful friendship. In behalf of all her grade school and high school classmates, we wish her many happy returns on this special day. Happy, happy birthday, Sheila. Thank you, Ms. Now let me call on now Susan Martin is a friend and uh, Hello, my name is Susan. I'm on, I am one of Sheila's older sisters. College buddies, and I've known Sheila way back when we were in the Philippines. Met her uh, first year in college about 33, 34 years ago. Oh my god, Sheila, see how young we are? <laughs> and Sheila was my maid of honor at my wedding, and I was one of her bridesmaids, and we've been friends for a while. I have some stories to tell, but Sheila may be two minutes. <laughs> so here we go. Um, Anyway, age is just a number, right, Sheila? But, geez, big five, oh, that's a big number. 
but I don't even know if I'm gonna celebrate mine. That's a scary number, but here you are. You have done um, celebrating your birthday here. You have done and accomplished so much in the span of years. You have a wonderful career as a nurse serving people, taking care of the sick. You have two beautiful children, Crystal and John, and of course, um, Cecile there. Um, she has been one of the first few people who welcomed me at work and I really appreciated that. She was very kind, helpful, caring, loving, and a very sincere person. We were pregnant at the same time and gave birth four days after her. So we, she was in labor and I was a few days after I was also in labor. So we were crying and <laughs> So we were training babysitting duties for uh, James and my daughter, Christine. <laughs> 